from a unit and we're all going to twist this unit and put them together and make as many units as we want. So grab a 260, that's the medium size. I like making things and making big things and having people help me make things because uh, the things I make have mathematical rules so it's easy to kind of explain the process because it's a very well-defined process when it's mathematical. So make a triangle and then twist one more section to add to the end and you've got this double magic flying triangle. We're following a rule where we have two triangles on one side and a triangle on the other and between we have a, a square and a pentagon. So three triangles, a square and a pentagon and just following that rule we get a hyperbolic plane. Yeah, this is a, an icosahedron that we just made. So the rule here is that at every point there's going to be five balloons twisted together and there's going to be triangles, so three balloons around. So just following that rule, you don't have to understand the geometry or what a microsahedron is, you're going to end up with this. You can make something that's big enough that everyone can kind of get their hands on it. You can have a large group that's making something very visible, and when it's big and out of balloons and it's temporary, you don't have to worry about making a big permanent sculpture, so balloons are a great material. I'm Vi Hart, and I'm recreational math and musician in residence this week.